Hello friends and welcome to AK Agrawal Aptitude Series. Friends, in this session we are going to learn a technique for solving a problem on simple probability. Here the given problem is in a box there are 8 red, 7 blue and 6 green balls. One ball is picked up randomly. What is the probability that it is a red ball? Part 2. It is not a red ball means if we pick up any one ball randomly from that box what is the probability that it will be a red ball and what will be the probability that it is not a red ball so first let us focus on the first part but before that let us see the formula used for probability is equal to number of favorable events divided by total number of possible events so for if we see total number of possible events total number of possible events the box contains 8 red 7 blue and 6 green balls so any one of the ball is picked up so uh, when we pick up any one ball it may be red blue or green so total possible events may be 8 plus 7 plus 6 21 means we can pick up uh, any one out of the given 21 balls so total number of possible events are 20 one if we see part one number of favorable events what we want the the ball picked up must be a red ball and there are eight red ball it means number of favorable events must be equal to number of red balls in the box this is eight so eight are the favorable events so probability is given by number of favorable events eight upon number of uh, total number of possible events 21 this is the answer so probability that the drawn ball will be a red ball is 8 upon 21 if we see the part 2 it is not a red ball so here number of favorable events will be equal to num not a red ball so not a red ball means it will be either a blue or a green ball so there are seven blue and six green ball 13 ball so 13 are favorable balls which are not of red color so probability is given by number of favorable events that is 13 divided by total number of possible events total number of possible events remains the same because box is same 13 upon 21 answer friends there is one more method to solve this part 2 that is alternative method means probability that it is not a red ball must be equal to 1 minus probability that it is a red ball because probability of being a red and probably plus probability of not being a red must be equal to 1 because when we will pick up a ball the total probability must be one either it will be red or it will be non-red so probability that it is not a red ball we can get using the formula one minus probability that it is a red ball so this is one minus eight upon twenty one again it comes thirteen upon twenty one thirteen upon twenty one so using any one of the method we can solve this problem friends let us solve one more similar type of problem one number is randomly selected from the numbers 1 to 100. What is the probability that the number selected is a prime number, not a prime number? Means 1 to 100 numbers are there, randomly we select one number. What is the probability that it is a prime number? This is the part 1 and it is not a prime number, that is part 2. So, first let us see the formula used for probability. Probability is given by number of favorable events divided by total number of possible events. Total number of possible events is equal to 100 because 1 to 100 numbers are there and we have to pick any one out of these 100 numbers. So, number of possible events is equal to 100. Part 1, number of favorable events is equal to number of prime numbers from 1 to 100. So, what is a prime number? The number which is divisible by itself and by 1 is called prime number. 1 is not counted as a prime number. So, number of prime numbers from 1 to 100 are given by 2, 3, 5, 7. These are the prime numbers from 1 to 100 these are divisible by itself as well as 1 so 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 29 31 37 41 43 47 53 59 61 67 71 73 79 83 89 and 97 these are the prime numbers 
from 1 to 100 if we count them it comes 25 so there are 25 prime numbers from 1 to 100 these are the favorable events so probability is given by number of favorable events 25 total number of possible events upon 100 this must be equal to 1 by 4 this is the answer so probability if we pick any one number from 1 to 100 the probability that it will be a prime number is 1 upon 4 ok if we see the part 2 that the number selected is not a prime number so here if you see 1 to 100 100 numbers are there out of these 100 25 are the prime numbers remaining 75 are not prime numbers anyway we can solve it probability that it is not a prime number 1 minus probability that it is a prime number is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 is equal to 3 by 4 if we use this formula directly then also because it is not a prime number so there are 75 such numbers are there which are in our favor because 25 prime numbers remaining 75 will be non prime so number of favorable events are 75 and total number of possible events are 100 so 75 upon 100 again is 3 by 4 so using any one of the method this question can be solved friends thank you very much for watching this video you can also follow me on facebook thank you very much